Assalamu alaikum. Keeping family ties is very important as you may know. So many people ask the question, how do I maintain family ties when the family doesn't even make an effort to keep ties with me? What do I do about that? It seems that this issue has become more and more common lately. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has already answered this question perfectly for us. The Prophet ﷺ said, The person who perfectly maintains the ties of kinship is not the one who doesn't because he gets recompensed by his relatives, but the one who truly maintains the bonds of kinship is the one who persists in doing so even though the later has served the ties of kinship with him. So the issue of having difficulties with certain family members that make maintaining ties hard is not a reason or an excuse to break family ties. The reality of the matter is that breaking those ties have much more severe consequences on the individual in the ummah at large than the momentary relief we get from avoiding uncomfortable relations. If each one of us started to break ties with certain family members, how are we supposed to have a united strong ummah? The division starts at home. It starts in the families and it starts in not being able to rise above conflicts and misunderstandings. It starts with favoring the ego over the greater goodness. This is exactly what shaitan wants to achieve. He inflicts egos and starts disagreements between family members. This is what leads to having weak, broken bonds and accordingly a weak ummah. So to counter that, there are many ways to get closer to your family members. Be creative in getting in touch with family members. Maybe buy a nice gift. It doesn't have to be fancy, but something thoughtful and sentimental. Find something they like and share it with them. Maybe send them nice lectures you've seen. Send them nice words of appreciation and encouragement. Help them with something they're struggling with. You can also send them a call or a message. But, if you're met with rudeness in any way, then be silent and leave the desire for retaliation for the sake of Allah. So let's fill our lives with du'as, praying for peace and mercy for our relatives, transcending above egos and evil whispers, and uniting for the sake of Allah. Assalamu alaikum and see you in my next hadith insha'Allah.